डू यू मिस इंडिया हुम वुड यू डेट इंडियन और इजरायली हाँ वो क्वेश्चन वॉट्स यूर एक्सपीरियंस एज अ जू इन इंडिया विल यू एवर कम बैक टू इंडिया फॉर एवर Where were you born and brought up? So I was born in Thane in India, and I was basically born and brought up in Thane. Is Revital your actual name? I get this question a lot on my channel and as well as in person here in Israel. Yes, Revital is my actual and my only name. I don't have any other name. This is my name on my birth certificate. Do you have an Indian name? Well, I don't have an Indian name, but again, like a few days ago, I had posted on my channel, like if I had an Indian name, what would it be? I especially like Murdal for myself. I think I'm such a Murdal, but a lot of people said I might be like Revati because it matches with Revital. So I also like Revati, but I also like Murdal. Are both your parents Jewish? Yes, both my parents are Indian Jews. Which school did you go to? So I went to Singhania, Shrimati Sulochana Devi Singhania School. I know it's a very long name, but it's one of the best schools in India. And then my high school, like my junior college, was Saint John the Baptist High School and Junior College, which was also in Thane. What did you study, and in which college? For my bachelor's, I went to um, Siagan Institute. It's in Lonavla, if you guys know. Uh, they also have a couple of campuses in Pune, but it's mostly like Pune and Lonavla. So I studied. I'm a bachelor of pharmacy, and I studied from Sihagad Institute, and then I pursued my pharmaceutical management, a pharmaceutical MBA from NMIMS Mumbai. How many languages do you speak? So at the moment, I speak four languages. Because obviously, because I grew up in India, I grew up learning and hearing, and you know, listening to Marathi. Hindi and English so these are like the three languages that I know in and out once i moved to israel i also started to learn hebrew so at the moment i know four languages i do understand a little bit of gujarati and punjabi i am kind of learning russian and spanish because a lot of my dance friends in israel are russian so they kind of like converse in that language and i am picking up on some words so i'm like you guys train me in, in the next 6 months i'll be russian how old are you at this point in time i'm 29 years old and I will turn 30 this September. So wish me good luck. Why did you start this YouTube channel? Millennials grew up watching YouTube. I always wanted to have a, my own channel, you know, especially after I started following Superwoman, which is Lily saying. When I was really inspired to have my own channel, I just didn't know what it was going to be, like the topic because I'm not into beauty or fashion or fitness. I mean, I love those things, but I don't have a passion to like talk about it so i was in shock ki mera channel kis bare mein rahega but finally when i moved to israel i thought it would be nice to share my experience as an indian immigrant in israel cuz there are a lot of americans here but from an indian perspective bahut alag hai your life here is very different so i thought it would be nice to start a youtube channel and i finally my dream came true so i started my channel in 2021 Jan, yeah, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. It's been three years, so it's been a little bit more than three years since I started my channel. And here I am. Are you single? Yes, I am. Totally single and happy. <laughs> What are your hobbies? I have a lot of hobbies. I think who have been following me on Instagram, I love dancing. I think that's more like my passion. then hobby is just like not a hobby I, i took it seriously in fact i pursued dancing full time professionally after my mba in fact i started it in my second year of mba and i was like you know what i'm going to manage my studies and my professional dancing so that's what i did i used to love art a lot like arts and crafts like that was my favorite subject you know leaving geography history mathematics aside arts and crafts was my favorite i love watching cooking shows like for example master chef australia or like man versus food anything which involves food i love to watch and i love to eat but i don't love to cook so much i don't like the kitchen so much how do you manage both full time job and youtube and do you have a team so this is where it gets tricky let me answer the second question first i don't have a team is just me i work on my channel i film my edit i post i do everything and yes i do have a full time job okay i'm going to give you a little bit of back story so when i came to israel you know finding a job was very hard because i thought like you need hebrew but later on you know you once you find your ground you make your connections um you try and find a job in english so that's what i did i started as a social media manager for a company and then i was like you know what i want to learn a little bit more about marketing so i joined a marketing agency so i was there for like about 
a year and a half and my boss who's like the founder of the agency started another company called israel tech and posted about it on my channel like a few weeks ago go check it out and because i was doing youtube i had a little more experience in video making it was like a perfect job for israel tech so what i do right now is i basically like co-host i'm like the videographer and i edit videos for israel tech and what we do is we interview israeli tech personalities so ceos founders vcs um, and we basically bring it to you on your favorite social media channel so basically all social media platforms because we want to elevate the israeli tech ecosystem so that's my full-time job and youtube is my side hustle and i don't have a team so i'm like trying to manage everything as much as i can trying to film at least one video like at least film and edit because you know it's it's kind of hard the most difficult part right now is editing because editing takes most time but because i have um i won't say a lot of experience but because i've been doing for a while now i feel like i have the hang of kind of like managing and balancing my week what's your experience as a jew in india all right interesting india has been very nice to me uh very i mean india is my home like i can i can have a separate video about this but to answer your question in short the people in india have been very welcoming and very warm and and you know the jewish community in india has been there for a while now it's been like 2000 years a lot of people didn't know that we existed as a community like there there are jews in india now because you know with social media and everything people are aware and a lot of um, american jews go to india and film about the indian synagogue so a lot of audiences have realized like oh there's a community and we didn't know and we want to know more and you know whenever they say oh like you left india like please come back we want you so i've had a very very good welcoming warm experience i love my people back home even today i i will and will always love them people back in india have always treated me and my people with a lot of love and have always welcomed us with open arms which indian festival do you miss celebrating in israel i have so many fe indian festivals that i miss i think my most top of the list is ganesh chaturthi because you know i was in thane maharashtra like that was like the highlight well i also miss diwali holi but i think ganesh chaturthi was like damn like i really miss it you know daha divas ekdam hangama danga masti with all your friends and you know the best part was like to have modak uh at everybody's house you know be it like ukdi se modak or like modak che pede it is like just the modak i miss cuz here you know there are uh, i mean nobody really makes modak here so that and then you know just basically visiting friends for ganesh darshan wearing um kai manta indian outfits and taking pictures just for instagram or just for like memories and you know you had the bahana of meeting your friends only because it was ganesh chaturthi you know because you know once you get an invite for ganesh chaturthi you don't have to get invited again is what i understand because all my friends are like you know you had come last year you don't need an exclusive invite to come to my house you can just come over so it was like you know if, if i haven't met this friend in a while i can just like you know walk in for ganesh chaturthi and you know it was like all set which type of indian jew are you i am a bani israeli jew i know a lot of people don't know about this communities or types of indian jews there are cochini jews bani menashe bani ephraim baghdadi jews i come from the west which is more towards like thane mumbai and the bar like the western coast of maharashtra so i am a bani israeli jew are you religious like what is the definition of religious i don't really understand but i don't like I'm not like if you if you say do you have kosher food I mean if I have a choice I would but sometimes you don't have a choice so I will not follow that do I keep shabbat it really depends like how people keep shabbat here um like for example like me and my family we light candles for shabbat but we still use electronics like we watch tv we use our phones my mother tries not to cook on saturday you know cook a big meal on friday so that you have enough for like you know saturday also when did you move to israel and why i just completed 4 years on the 6th of march i moved to israel on 6th of march 2020 which was exactly 4 days before the first lockdown of covid in israel it was a terrible terrible time but a lot of people told me it was better to be in israel than to be in india during covid but that doesn't really matter you know because of the situation and everything like it was just heartbreaking to leave india 
and why there are like multiple reasons i don't have like a specific reason for you so when i was doing my mba i was what 24 one day my parents like sat me down and they're like you know what we i think we should think of moving to israel and i'm like what are you saying you know israel is not even my first choice like why would anybody want to go to israel you know stuff like that so i was like you know first things first i'm like 24 abhi nahi explore kiya to kab kiya it's just better to explore just go understand what life is like here and then if you don't like it you can just come back any time you know that was one reason second was uh, for my parents it was very important to live a more jewish life i'm not saying that we didn't live a jewish life in india but it is it is difficult you know to follow shabbat to have kosher food to have a holiday on jewish holidays and not just like indian holidays there was always like we had to ask for it or you know ha- make an effort to do that here it is like if it's yom kippur or rosh hashana you don't even ask, have to ask your boss for a holiday it's just like a national holiday if you are into kosher food and stuff like that you know 80% or let's say 90% of the restaurants or like food places are kosher certified so you don't have to go looking for them you can just like you know just go there and also i think it was important for my parents and right now for me now that i think about it for me and my sister to like find jewish partners cuz i mean the indian jewish community is very small about 4000 jews now so the options are very limited and uh, some of them are also my cousins and i don't want to get married to my cousins you know it's just weird i mean weird for me i mean people do it but i didn't want to the tech scene here is like super cool like if you have a tech background i don't have a tech background by the way but you have non tech jobs in the tech ecosystem that you can get into which i am doing which i i am doing at the moment and which is like really cool and i was like you know this could be an opportunity so let's see was it your dream to move to israel to be honest no israel was never my first option i always wanted to go to the us but yeah i'm here <laughs> Is it easy to make friends in Israel? Yes and no. It really depends at what age you come here. So if you are in your like I don't know like teenage years or early twenties, and if you're going to college and stuff, or if you're doing the the army, it is easy to make friends because you know it's easy when you're younger. When you get older and when you don't have a uh, you know a college to go to, you know you can kind of be friends with your colleagues. But again, I work remotely, so I don't work. in person with my colleagues so it's just it was just hard for me to make friends and also like in your late 20s people have their inhibitions people are not out there to make friends i think people are more out there in terms of dating but out there in terms of making friends is just a biggest challenge like so i take a lot of effort to make friends i mean if i meet somebody i will like message them on instagram try to keep in touch meet them over a coffee i do all of this to make friends but that's again my personality because i want to if i see a life here i want to be able to have israeli friends friends who are from different countries as well but that's my personality a lot of people struggle here a lot of people complain all the time you know it gets so lonely i don't have a friend to speak to but also in general like israelis are friendly that way they that's very similar to in terms of india they will welcome you with open arms they will ask you questions they are very curious about where you come from so i think that could be a nice icebreaker here but again where to find these people is a is a problem so a lot of people use like bumble bff i have never used it i just naturally or organically meet people because i am like that i put myself out there and i try and meet people as much as i can so i try and do that but yeah it is if you are in your late 20s or like your early 30s it's it's a challenge to make friends but if you are in your let's say your teenagers or early 20s it's quite easy what is your favorite israeli food i have so many if you would have asked me this question about 4 years ago i would have said non nothing because everything is so bland and like everything is like hummus and chickpeas but now that i've lived here for 4 years i feel like i've developed a, a sense of taste and a palate for it i'm now into middle eastern food so i like shakshuka so good there's falafel the shawarma and you know i just never liked bengan i hated bengan till i actually tasted it here they have a way of cooking it you know they bake it and they have like khina and hummus and they put all these spices on it it's just like the best thing ever so i'm really into eggplant now <laughs> my mother's going to be like yodi vange ji bhaji banoli mi tena khallani atta khayla laglis 
if you could bring three things from India to Israel, what would they be? Mamle dar chhi misal. I like somebody has to bring it here, bro. Like I love misal pav so much. I miss it almost every day. Somebody needs to get misal pav here, and not just any misal pav. It has to be mamle dar chhi misal with that tikhat rassa. Is like. Epic. The second thing I would get here is the Indian attire that I could possibly wear. I mean, I could actually get it here, but you know, sometimes when 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 you wear like, let's say, if I wear a kurta, like a flashy kurta, because I'm feeling like I get stared at a lot because it's not common here to wear a kurta or a sari, right? But I would love to get that culture here because I feel like everybody is wearing like shades of grey or like black or white. It's like all monotonous colours, and I'm like, I want to see pops of colours. I don't get to see that here, so I would definitely get like our Indian attires and like the Indian fashion here. And I think the third thing I would get is my friends. I would definitely get my friends. Not that I'm saying that I don't have friends here. But Indian friends की तो बात ही कुछ अलग है, you know. It's just and it's it's nice to have them in person because I am in a long distance relationship with a lot of my friends, but it's not the same. It's just better to have them here because you know sometimes you need them physically present when you're not okay or if you just like plan to like hang out and stuff like that. Whenever you go outside of Israel, how do you handle hate it towards your religion and your current country, Israel? India is the only country where Jews did not face anti-Semitism, so we had a normal life. But when I compare my life to my other Jewish friends who are not from India, they have faced a lot of anti-Semitism. So initially, when I moved here and people spoke about anti-Semitism, I don't know what they were talking about. But after the war broke out on October seventh, I faced a lot of anti-Semitism online on my channel, um, in my DMs. Uh, Uh, a lot of friends just blocked me and friended me said mean things to me that's why initially i stopped making videos cuz that is one way that really affected me i was like i don't want to make videos anymore cuz people are going to be like saying all these mean things and they were affecting me kyunki mere sath kabhi pehle hua nahi tha in fact my other friends were much stronger cuz they had gone through this and they they knew how to handle it i didn't know on the other hand how to handle it because it was happening with me for the first time but i am slowly slowly learning there are ways people really handle anti-semitism they will do israel advocacy or advocacy for the jews and israel some people just learn to ignore some people fight back whom would you date indian or israeli ha <laughs> What a question! Obviously, like I'm Indian, so I am into Indian men. I love Indian men. I think they are amazing and beautiful and strong and like sexy. But since I've moved here, initially I was like, yeah, like I don't think I could ever like, you know, date Israeli men. But now because I've been here for a while, I'm like used to seeing them around. Uh, so I'm also into Israeli men now. Uh, but if you're asking me right now, now I think I'm into Israeli men. I would date an Israeli man. I feel like I have enough experience dating Indian men. I do wanna explore and see like what happens. So, are there Indian restaurants in Israel? What do you do if you are hungry for pav bhaji, pani puri, chana bhatura, lassi and kheer or gulab jamun? Yes, there are Indian restaurants in Israel. A couple, you know, tandoori, munna, dosa bar, indira, ichikdana. But there are like handful, like maybe like, gin ke dus restaurants. Considering the prices, all of them are very expensive. Pav bhaji and pani puri we make at home. Actually, my mom cooks at home. I don't. I only eat, like I said. Do the Marathi Israelis try to keep their Marathi heritage alive in Israel? And does the next generation connect to this heritage, or they don't? I do have a couple of friends who are from the Beni Israeli community, like Marathi Jews, but like whose like whose parents came here, but like they were born and brought up here, and they said like we we understand Marathi, but we don't speak it. And I wish like our parents spoke to us in Marathi. That's what I've heard from them. So I feel like they don't really connect to Marathi so much compared to us. Do you miss? India. Every single day, every single minute, every single second of the day, I miss India. I miss everything about it. You know, the people, the food, the culture, the energy, my childhood friends, my childhood. बचपन में कैसा था? If I miss school, I can just like take a rickshaw and pass by my school. Uh, miss Miss Sir, I would just go to Mamle Darshi Miss Sir, but I can't do all of that here. You know, so I have to just like you know sit and think about it. I have to miss like. And just like you know, visualize like oh, I'm like sitting at Mamle Dar eating misal with the the tikhatrasa. Will you ever come back to India forever? 
I'll be honest this question passes my mind a lot I don't know at this moment in time if I would ever come back to India forever I do visit India I will never stop visiting India ever I'm at a point where I have just started to like really embrace the Israeli culture and I'm trying to get my life sorted here in terms of friends career a relationship uh, a family I keep thinking about it you know if there's a war here and if i have to leave the country go somewhere else it will it will be in there i will not go, i will not move anywhere else mera aaj gala kharab hai but maine thar li thi that i will and i want to um publish one video a week um so and i didn't want to sit in doors because i was already feeling so sick so i was like you know what let's just step out get some vitamin d feel sun kissed was like 14 degrees like 2 minutes ago now it's like 23 degrees and i'm wearing a hoodie and i'm like so hot but scene is chhut rahe but theek hai kya kya karna padta hai youtube video banane ke liye if you have any more ideas for video topics go down in the comment section and let me know and i will see you next time